so welcome back students let us come back and do the next property of your uh, d block elements after electronic configuration that is your atomic radii so we will do both the atomic radii and ionic radii so here uh, a particular graph we are going to relate the atomic radii uh, with 3d series 4d and uh, 5d series so i picked up 3d here 4d here <coughs> and 5d series here that now what happens <coughs> whenever we are uh, seeing basically in transition elements there's a lot of variation in the atomic and ionic radii so we are seeing that trend isn't it so graphically your ncrt book has given you this data so i picked up that graph from your ncrt book and trying to explain the different trends in atomic radii so when i have, whenever i have, uh, uh, whenever I, have, I go to the go through this graph of atomic radii just see the 3d series when i start we very well know the 3d series starts from scandium and it ends at zinc 4d starts from yttrium to cadmium and 5d starts at lanthanum and ends at mercury correct now whenever we are seeing uh, the size as i move from left to right in a uh, period just observe 164 picometer 147 135 129 137 so the size is decreasing isn't it the size is completely decreasing here now this whole gradually from here okay we'll do this anomaly also now this has become stable till here and now this also and finally it has increased to 137 picometer so what did i do i picked up three cases for that so we'll study under these three cases first important thing is why does or why is the atomic radii decreasing as we move from left to right in the period simple so that is your first question so what is the first question when we move from left to right in a period that means this is your left this is your right i'm going towards the side atomic radii decreasing why what is the question so how should i answer this question now when i see this particular uh, filling of electrons now suppose this is your nucleus right now this is your uh, uh, these are your shells now this is your 3d shell that is your n minus 1d this is your 3d shell penultimate shell and this is your forest electron so now what happens when i move from left to right in the period every time the electron see where is the electron getting added here 3d again 3d again 3d 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 it's going on adding to the same shell every time the electron adds to this sorry every time the electron adds to this shell only 3d shell so when they're just trying to add electrons to the 3d shell so what is happening to the nucleus automatically your protons also will be added so the proton and your electron both start increasing here so first important thing you have to remember first concept yes as i move from left to right in the period atomic number increases number of protons and number of electron increases when this is increasing what is observed now the nuclear charge on this that, that very important so the nuclear charge okay i'll write n dot e nuclear charge increases because i'm very closer to the this is for compared to forest 3d is closer so it's trying to drag the electrons towards it because protons and neutrons uh, protons and electrons they get attracted to each other so nuclear charge increases when the nuclear charge increases what happens for size atomic radii decreases simple this is dragging from the side and both are this is trying to pull that electron so that the size or the si atomic radii becomes very small simple now uh, one, and this atomic radius decreases now what what is one more factor you have to speak because the 3d electron now what happens your 3d or that electron which is getting added here <coughs> the screening effect of 3d electron is very less why because of its size isn't it the diffuse size of 3d uh, uh, is very uh, it is compact isn't it so that concept that is your screening effect or this 3d uh, because of diffuse size will not protect this forest directly the electron the, uh, the proton in the nucleus tries to drag the whole forest electron towards it why because the screening effect of d is less simple i have written two points first as i move from left to right atomic number increases understood when atomic number increases protons as well as electrons both increase okay let us erase all this so that you don't get confused now this is your 3d i said right this is your proton and this is your electron this also is your electron so number of protons and number of electrons increases the number of proton number of electron increases 
this try to drag this electron and drag this electron also so nuclear charge increases nuclear charge increases atomic radius decreases simple why is this all happening because the screening effect of d electron is very very less because of its size when i see when when i see the shape of the d orbital the size is diffused so d electron is less you complete that once Done. Now I am done with this part of the graph. Now I will come back to this part of the graph. Now I said why is the atomic radii of iron, iron is here, cobalt and nickel. Yes, similar. Why is it similar? See here it is 126 picometer, 125 picometer, 125 picometer and almost 128 picometer very close. Why is it? What 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 is happening? Now let us answer the middle series. Now I will write it as <coughs> midway. Midway means <laughs> this part <coughs> this part of the curve so here what happens is i said both the effects now screening effect and nuclear charge you are going to speak in terms of this when i go to the middle of the series your electron again it's going on adding and adding and adding yes now the number of electrons or the d electrons becomes in they go on increasing isn't it yes now at that particular point in the middle of the series uh, number of electrons in D shell increases correct it increases that's what is uh, told now at this particular point when the number of electrons as well as the nuclear charge both because they both keep acting on that particular electron so at the middle of the series though the number of electrons are increasing the nuclear charge also acts the electron also acts so a situation comes where the nuclear charge as well as the screening effect or the sorry nuclear charge and the uh, number of d electrons both start counterbalancing each other because the atomic number is increasing, number of electron increases, right? So, the middle of the series, two important concepts. One is nuclear charge as well as screening effect of D, they counterbalance. Both balance each other. So, they counter, they become equal almost, counterbalance. Nuclear charge and screening effect counterbalance. So, because of this, the size remains the same. Though the electrons are adding, both both compensate each other and they become equal. So I've clearly answered this question. Number of electron increases in D shell as atomic number increases. And the most important thing is this middle series. Done. Now again I'm going to speak in terms of nuclear charge and SE. Now as I come above when I'm reaching zinc, why does atomic radius increase at the end of the series? Now zinc it is 137 picometer. So why is it increasing? So again I'll speak in that terms only. When I come back to zinc, for example, in zinc, <coughs> what is the uh, atomic uh, this in, uh, uh, configuration? It is 3D10, 4S2, isn't it? So zinc 3D10, 4S2. Now what, what is happening here? What is dominating? when i see the electron ball going on adding and adding and adding to the same shell so the number of electrons starts increasing so much that you're adding 3d1 3d2 3d3 3d5 3d6 7 8 9 10 you're going on adding to the same 3d shell very important here when it comes to zinc electron electron repulsion starts because you are adding to the same uh, shell every time, isn't it? 3D only you are going on adding to 3D, isn't it? So now electron, electron repulsion starts which becomes greater than your nuclear charge. So nuclear charge also is trying to pull the electron but electron electron repulsion will dominate now. Here what happened? Nuclear charge was dominating. Here what happened? Both were balanced. Here what happened? Electron electron repulsion start increasing. So because of this electron electron repulsion <coughs> <laughs> that uh, uh, thing and I said nuclear charge is decreasing automatically when that repulsion is there the size automatically increases isn't it right so that is why electron electron repulsion greater than nuclear charge so the concept ended size increases yes because of repulsions automatically when something is repelling it will open up isn't it it will just uh, uh, the distance between them increases so this is your concept. I am uh, trying to explain only three important things using this graph. Again, we will do with this series and this series also. Most important thing you have to remember in the exam is first series, this one. Nuclear charge is dominating screening effect. 
in the midway in the second series second part of this nuclear charge counterbalance screening effect in the last series or the last part electron ele electron repulsion dominates nuclear charge or nuclear charges in c that's it